So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the magic world of Vedic mathematics. Now, why I call it as magic, you'll be able to understand this within a few minutes of our workshop. The calculation from which you were running away since long, the tables, the fast calculations, the mental calculations, they are just a step away now. You would be able to calculate all such calculations in your mind mentally within seconds, and it seems like it, uh, some magic has occurred. Right? So am I audible to everyone? Anyone has any issue? Yes, sir, we can able to hear. Okay. So very first thing is, I would like everyone to give a pat to yourself. Congratulate yourself that you have taken a first step towards the learning of a new thing that is basic mathematics. Now, right? See, whenever we do something new, something big in our life, we should always encourage ourselves. See, nobody is going to come and congratulate you. It is you who have to motivate yourself every time. And that is the path towards success, right? So whenever you do something encouraging, something constructive, something which is really going to change your life, do pat yourself. You might be thinking this from long. Okay, we'll study Vedic mathematics or we'll start learning Vedic mathematics, but it is today when you have started the real journey, right? So pat yourself and congratulate yourself for starting this wonderful journey which would be magical and so interesting that you'll all love it. <clears throat> now, let me introduce myself. So I am Dr. Yogesh Chana, and I'm an internationally certified trainer for Vedic mathematics. Apart from trainer, I'm an author of the books, Learn Vedic Mathematics Step-by-Step, Step, right? It is a series of six books which I have written for the teacher training. I'm also an educator from last 25 years. I motivate and help people to learn and grow as an entrepreneur, as an educator. Right? So this was a brief introduction about me. Now, the first step. So you all have taken the first step towards learning of Vedic mathematics. See why I asked you to congratulate yourself, why? Because the first step was the must. The first step was the important. It only decides your journey. Correct. Once you have taken a first step, once you have taken an initiative, then other steps will just follow. But it is the first step which decides your future. It is the first step which makes you, your journey go towards certain direction. Right? So that is the reason why I always say, First thing, always keep on encouraging yourself. Yes, I can do. Yes, I can make this happen. And second thing, motivate, because nobody is going to come and motivate you. Nobody has got time today to come and congratulate you. So first thing is congratulate yourself. Some of you might be thinking at this stage of life, because all of you are teachers, all of you are well established in the big schools. You might be thinking, is it necessary or is it valid starting a new thing right at this age? So my dear friends, believe life can start at any point of time. This is what is life. You can change, you can start your, restart your life any, any time. When did Donald Trump became a president of India, uh, of America, the most powerful country of the world, when he was above 70? Can you believe at the, the time when we people start thinking about, we retire and start thinking about the rest in our life, at that time, he became the president of such a powerful country. The KFC man, he struggled so much and now, what he has achieved, people just dream of it, right? So the only positive was they never 
look back. They never thought that age is some criteria. They kept on going towards the forward, right? And this is what is written in our Bhagavad Gita. What should be done? What is expected from us? It is only that we should be self-confident and motivated all throughout our life. Does it happen? How many of you feel that we remain confident every time? No. Even in one day, we get demotivated number of times. We get upset. What do we mean upset? So we stop doing anything. Rather, we should have believed upset means get up and start anew. Right? So this is our beliefs. Now, every what so what is there? See, with every positive thought in your life, you have a doubt associated. Just now, New Year of Nepal has gone. And even our New Year, every time we make new resolutions at before our New Year. Yes or no? Yes, how many of we make resolutions every New Year? Am I not audible? You are audible, sir. So this is so. Please uh, see. This would be a workshop where everybody is free to answer. There, it, it is not a seminar where I'll speak and go. We all will participate. We'll learn some concepts also. Just introductory part we are going. But again, this is very important because Vedic math is not just a subject. To understand math or Vedic mathematics, it is a life-changing process. And I want all of you to feel that life-changing experience. So, yes, how many of you make resolutions? And what happens in the morning? The first day, we just think, what will happen? We make resolutions like, we'll go for a walk from 1st Jan. We'll start meditation, we'll start yoga or something constructive, something educative. What happens in the morning? The first morning we think, what will happen? Let, let, let me pre postpone for one more day. And that, that second day never comes. It happens or not? Yes, I think, sir. I, I think it, it, it doesn't happen in your life or your two. So... <clears throat> See why it happens. I told you with every positive thought, there is a doubt associated. And whenever you have a negative thought, there, there will be no doubt at all. For example, if you have thought, I'll go for a movie on first jam, nobody would be able to stop you. You will go for the first day, first show. I won't say going for a movie is a negative thing. But yes, it is not constructive, it is not educative, it is not which can change, bring a change in your life. So ethically, uh, logically thinking, it is not a positive thought also. But we didn't bother. So that is why I call, I asked you to congratulate yourself, pat yourself, because this is what you have taken a very impactful step which will bring a positive change in all of your life. So no worries at all. You are here at right time, right place. And let us start a new journey with positivity, with confidence and with new hope. This is a day to learn, launch and lead and make a path towards a success in our life. Right? So coming to the topic, what is Vedic mathematics? Yes, so how many of you are aware about the term Vedic mathematics? Open to you. Yes, Dave, shake my mover. Now it is second time for you. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I have attended one more session. 
what is this which can be help us to solve which mm -hmm. can we solve a calculation in a simple way okay sir what is the limitation of the vedic mathematics is it, it is a general method or a specific method i'll come to that my, right now my question is vedic what is vedic mathematics yes usharani any megna megna you have received the book so what did you learn from that devki sudhakar suman mishra they, See, I, I, I would expect, see tomorrow. You are going to become trainers, and I, I think all of us are teachers. So it would be better if you switch on your video so that you can interact. Yes, Meghna, Jyoti, Usha Rani. What is Vedic mathematics? <laughs> Okay, if you have any any issues in the audio, you can chat also. You can write the answers in the chat box also. Not to worry. Yes, Sudhakar, Rasulbi, Seema, Rashi. No one. Okay. So coming to okay, sir, can you hear me? Yes. Vedic Vedic mathematics is a uh, collection of the sutras or techniques of the. Mathematical. Don't uh, okay. Of the. See. The basic thing. What? Wh why it is called as Vedic mathematics? So what is Vedic mathematics? Anyone? Are all new to it? Yes, all of us are new to it. Uh, little bit. Okay. Maybe uh, Vedic means it is related to our ancient times, ancient okay. periods. Uh, how yes. our like ancestors used to uh, do calculations so fast mentally, and it, it involves some trick and some uh, methods. They those are being taught in Vedic mathematics. Maybe. Yes, perfectly. Yes, Sudhaka, you are right. We can calculate, check, technism and learn in easy way. Correct. Others. Yes, Rashi, Seema. Perfect. See, now I'll tell you why it is called. What is Vedic mathematics exactly? Vedic means knowledge, and why it is called as Vedic mathematics because it is believed to be originated from our Vedas. Now, how many Vedas we have? Yes, how many Vedas we have? Everyone, you can four, write four Vedas. Four Vedas. Okay, four Vedas. Ma'am has given the answer. So now, now, what are the four Vedas? Atharveda, Yajurveda, Yajurveda, Rigveda, Samveda. Okay. Samveda. So Rigveda, Samveda, Yajurveda, and Atharveda. So this fourth Veda, see, Vedic maths is believed to be originated from this fourth Veda, the Veda which deals with the branches of engineering, mechanics, sculpture, medicine, and all the other sciences which we deal today. right so it is originated from vedas that is why it is called as vedic mathematics but who was the person who revised this so the efforts were done by jagadguru swami bharti krishna tirath ji now he was shankaracharya of jagannath puri peeth you all might be knowing we have shankara peeth in our in our country india Yes, so one uh, one Shankara Pit is in Gov Govardhan Pit, that is in Orissa. So Shankara Charya, he was a Shankara Charya over there, Swami Bharti Krishna Tirachi, right? And he, it is just because of his efforts, we got this magical subject which we call today as magical mathematics or Vedic mathematics. Got it? Any questions you have? yes is it clear now now this is regarding the history but today if somebody ask you okay what is vedic mathematics how do we define it because practically what is vedic mathematics we should know 
So, Vedic mathematics, in a very simple language, it is a collection of techniques. Now, techniques everybody is aware of. Or we can call it as formulas. In maths, we have certain formulas. In yes. Or now in, in our Vedic maths, we co call these formulas or techniques as sutras. Right? So in very simple language, we can say it, it is a collection of techniques, formulas, or sutras which makes mathematical, which make calculations easy, fast, and simpler. Right? So it is it is what uh, Vedic maths is what? It, what, what makes our mathematics easy, faster, and simple. Is it clear? Now, I'll see all of us are teachers now. It is an internet era. So whatever we'll be learning, I'll be giving you proof regarding that. Right? Now, in Vedic maths, we have got 16 sutras, or what you can call it as 16 formulas, and 13 sub-sutras or 13 sub-formulas with the help of which you can solve entire arithmetic, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, calculus, conics, and even organic chemistry. Anyone from physics is here? Yes, sir. Okay. Maths, uh, I'll, I'll give you some concepts of physics also, um, chemistry also today. Right. So this is only these 29 sutras and sub sutras, with the help of these 29 formulas only, we can solve entire mathematics. Yes. Any doubts, any questions you have? It's yes. clear, sir. See, all of us are teachers, but if you will not ask me, students will definitely ask you these such questions. So whatever queries come in your mind, please do ask. Yes, Jyoti, Suman, <laughs> okay, now let's come to the point directly, why Vedic mathematics, why is there so much hype of this subject, because a year back or two years back, nobody used to talk about this subject, and today it has become a talk of the city. Every talk starts with Vedic mathematics. Whenever you search with, uh, on Facebook or Google, there is Vedic mathematics. Why? So the first basic reason is, yes, this subject has been added in our National Education Policy 2020. And as per that, it would be made compulsory to teach Vedic mathematics in every school. If you check with government of uh, sorry, Board of Rajasthan, this subject was added four years back and they have this syllabus in their course curriculum in RBSC Board, Rajasthan Board of Secondary Education. I'm not talking about CBSC right now. And now after our Honorable Prime Minister, he has announced a national education policy. So this would be implemented in every school. So that is one major reason why everybody is talking about this subject or why we all have collected together to learn this subject. Now, this was, okay, a reason, yes, why should we learn? Apart from this, there are persons from Nepal also, and I do receive from everywhere. Why should we learn Vedic mathematics? Why is it so important? Yes, anyone has any any reason you have why we, we should learn Vedic mathematics or why is it so important? Yes, anyone has inputs? To make our uh, solving process much easier than regular okay. methods. Okay. So I think Vedic mathematics is uh, important. Uh, so that we can solve any calculation easily. Yes. Okay. Have you, uh, Meghna, you are from Bikaner. So have you seen the RBSC books? So uh, actually I'm from Jaipur, but right now I came Bikaner at okay. my parents' house. 
But I have seen RBSE books and CBSE both books. Yes, sir. Yes, in RBSC books uh, syllabus, they have this basic mathematics right from class third. Okay, sir. Yes, anyone else? Uh, to remove our fear from the mathematics. Okay. Yes, sir. Suman. Devki. Usha Rani. No one. Okay. Now, the very first reason is it helps to solve mathematical problems 10 to 15 times faster. Can you believe? Yes, anyone believes on that? Yes, sir, I do. Yes, yes Jyoti, any? See, we, I want you all to experience this. Yes. So before that, we're just going with the green things. Okay. Now, my question is not this. This line, this statement, you might have seen on Facebook, Google, anywhere. And whenever you talk to somebody, he says the same thing. It helps to increase our speed 10 to 15 times faster. So this is a common statement. Now, my question is something different. Why does it happen? Why does our speed gets increased when we start calculating or when we use Vedic mathematics? Now, yes. So why does it happen? There are some shortcut methods or tricks. Okay. We have some techniques to okay. do the problems easily. Okay, great. What else? Normally, we used to learn so many formulas, but here you said that we have only 16 formulae. Mm -hmm. So with that, we can solve the, all the algebra. So okay. So it could be easy to find out the solutions. Okay. What else? Any? So right now, um, we are learning the traditional math, no, not traditional method, but method given by uh, Britishers in mathematics, uh, like uh, multiplication, we are doing very long multiplication, long division, but Vedic maths is our traditional, uh, gives us traditional formulas, sutra and subsutra, which help. That's why our speed increases. You see the advantage is correct. Whatever you said was correct. Uh, if I talk about the advantages, my question is behind the scene. My question was, why does this happen? Why does speed increases? See, it increases. This is a belief. Will, uh, Why does it happen? This is a reason. We will not burden. Yes, please, ma'am. It depends upon the trick, how much uh, fast you are going to apply. Okay. And there are some shortcut formulas. So with those shortcut techniques, we will uh, do it faster. Okay. Okay. Technical knowledge. Should be, okay. Now let me give you, see, there. I'll give you some basic reasons behind it. You won't be finding it in Google, but this is very important. Now, my question to everyone is, how do we write? Or how do we read? We write as well as we read from left to right. Correct? Yes, someone. If we have a newspaper, if we have to read a magazine, is it, is it always left to right? Yes. And when we have yes, to for write, us, it is it's just always left to and right. When we have to write something, is it, it is always left to right? Yes. Now you are sitting, yes. all of you are sitting at your own place, own homes, just see in front of you. The first instant, you'll be able to see the objects placed on left hand side and then towards the right hand side in a fraction of seconds. I'll say fraction of microseconds, but it happens. You'll always see the things on the left hand side first and then right hand side. Because this is how your brain behaves or interacts with your eyes. This is what 
programming has been done. Everything we do like this, so it has been programmed in this way. Now, what happens when you do maths? Yes, what happens? You move from right to left. Yes or no? Yes, yes sir. sir. First are always unit place, right then 10th place. place, then 100th place. You never go from 100th place, 10th place, or uh, unit place. Do you go? Have you ever solved no. from left to right? Today you will. So this is one reason why your speed gets slower. See, you do mathematics opposite to the programming of your brain. You do opposite to what you have been doing throughout your life, throughout your day. So Vedic mathematics gives you the option. It gives you the flexibility either to calculate from left to right or right to left. And that is why your speed increases. Got it? You will experience it. We will do such calculations today and you will experience it. But is this, this point clear? Yes, Suman. Suman, you have something to ask? Okay. Now the second reason. <clears throat> when you have to do something independently or when you are dependent on something, which is much faster. I'll give you an example in simple line. If you are getting your work done by your maid, or if you're getting, if you're doing the work yourself, which is faster? With the help of the maid. Okay, with fast. the help of maid, it is faster. I'm, I'm talking about the fast. We trust, if you trust on our maid, then it will be faster. If you are not liking, then we will go by ourselves. No, I, I, see, when time is concerned, whenever you do something independently, when you don't have to further tell what to do, how to do, at that time, it is always, when you are working independently, it is always faster because you are not depending on someone. Now, this is what exactly happens in Vedic mathematics. You are not dependent on paper. You are not dependent on pen. Most of the calculations are done mentally. So when you are doing the calculations mentally without the use of paper or pen, that time the speed automatically increases because you are not going to do anything else. You're just using your brains. Is the point clear? Yes, sir. Right. Now, the third one. Now, I'll give you a question to everyone. Let me write. If this is a question, 576 into 121, what would be your first reaction or how will you do it? Yes, Suman, everyone. I want you to observe. So please answer this. This is very important. Yes, Suman? Check. Make no, I will go it in a very traditional way. First, I will multiply it by one, then two, then again one, and then I add up all those figures. Perfect. You will I know only that method. I know will, only that method. You, you, will, you will do thrice multiplication and one time addition. Perfect. Yeah, yes. Just remember this answer. What I what you answered now, just remember this. I'm I'm not going to because then you will experience what change happened with you. Yes, Jyoti. Any Yes, sir. So, uh, here we have simple say that we will multiply and then plus. Karenge. Maybe Vedic, Vedic uh, nahin, nahin, mathematics. No, 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 no
ठीक है अभी yes. हमें अभी कुछ नहीं सोचना हमें प्री एजम्पन yes. नहीं करनी कुछ भी क्योंकि प्री एजम्पन में आप अभी आंसर दे दूंगा तो आप आप खुद नहीं कर पाएंगे so, मैं चाहता हूँ yeah. वो आप खुद एक्सपीरियंस करें राइट सो एवरी वन यस एनी वन फुल डू डिफरेंटली देव सुन क्रिस सॉरी एवरीबडी you will do you will write 576 and below that you will write 5 121 and you will start multiplying correct this is how you all will do let's believe yes, sir. let's make it clear up till here now what happens in vedic math in vedic math you start observing this is known as visualization you start visualizing the numbers then you will find a reason behind it why that number and then you will apply a logic now these three qualities this brings a difference in your way of thinking i want all of you to observe this today i will not tell you where to use it and you will automatically use yourself and then you'll feel what you answered just now will be different when you'll apply so these three things are very important in any one's any person's life if you come across any situation in life you will first visualize that problem then you'll try to find a reason behind that and then apply a particular logic so that is why it is called vedic maths is not a mathematics it is a science of life it is a way of changing life it is a life changing process right so any child who is equipped with all these three things he'll never suffer in anything right and when you have visualization you have reasoning you have logics so speed is just a small parameter Speed will automatically increase. Correct. The fourth reason. So till now we have learned three reasons. First was left to right. We you we are doing everything, and only mathematics we go from right to left, and this is the reason why. math is slow second reason we observe dependability if we are not dependent on paper and pen we are working everything with the help of our brain or we are doing every calculations mentally so it becomes faster third is visual vrl visualization reasoning and logic so this is a life changing process and the fourth now it is believed yes we do most of the calculations mentally now when you have to do something mentally what do you do you keep some calculation some part of the calculation into your intellect or brain yes so what happens both your right brain as well as left brain they get activated and what happens apart who who has right brain more active who all have right brain more active which are the persons who have right brain active yes the people who are more towards arts creativity their right brain is active and people who have more logically stronger their left brain is active and with the help of vedic mathematics both the brains get activated 
and when the both the brains get activated your speed increases any doubt now any doubt on the reason see we just learned one reason why we should learn vedic mathematics and on that also we have done four reasons behind that so any doubt any questions you have now <clears throat> yes anyone okay then please take out your paper and pen and let's start with the calculations based on these principles or these observations take out okay, yes take yes, out the sir. paper and pen okay so now you all have to participate see maths cannot you cannot understand maths if you are not practicing it so you cannot simply listen and learn the mathematics you have to solve it also so the first topic we will be doing is multiplication with 11 and its multiples is it visible to everyone please answer if you are not able to speak yes, you can sir. write down in the chat uh yes we can able to see we need to minimize and all yes multiplication with 11 are its multiples jyoti shrek uh, okay shrek uh, any meghna seema devki rasul bhi usha rani suman mishra suman you two two people are coming with the name suman okay uh meghna you have taken the book so this particular topic is in the third book step 3 Eleven and its multiples, right? I I don't. Now eleven is such a magical number. If you multiply any single digit with eleven, that number is repeated twice. If you multiply with two, it becomes twenty-two. If you multiply with seven, it becomes seventy-seven. If you multiply with nine, it becomes ninety-nine. Have you seen this magic? Have you observed this magic? Yes, sir. now what happens uh, with the two digit numbers what happens when 11 is multiplied with 12 have you ever thought of it or 11 is multiplied by 23 11 is multiplied by 33 44 what happens now see observe this 12 first digit as it is now <coughs> second digit as it is in between add the two numbers hmm. got it yes. now yes, how sir. do we calculate yes, right sir. now we calculate 12 into 11 so we make it 12 0 53 uh, again 12 so 1 3 2 but here what happens you can start thinking mentally 1 as it is 1 plus 2 makes 3 and last 2 as it is So one thirty-two. If it is twenty-three, it becomes two. Two plus three is five, and three. If it is thirty-three, it becomes three. Three plus three is six, and three. Thirty-four. Three seven four. Anyone who is not able to understand. Yes, Jyoti. Yes, I Any... can understand, sir. Understand, Sorry. sir. Now I can understand very nicely. <laughs> okay. Any? I don't know this trick, sir. <laughs> no issues. We'll yes, go. Yes, sir. See, yes, sir. I'll go further in this. Now, very. Thank see, I, I object the word trick. Why? Basic maths is not a trick. It is a concept in itself. So, eleven is just a start. Just a start to understand some basics of Vedic mathematics. 11 is just a start to understand yes magic happens in vedic mathematics right yes devki suman sir it will come three digits also same manner yes three digit five digit six digit seven digit 10 okay how many of you have seen movie shakuntala devi uh, we have seen sir we have seen so do you remember that she calculated how many digits Okay, so five many. digit. I'll tell you. What is one, two, three, four, five into eleven? 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into 11. That is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 5. And every one of you will be able to do that today. So this trick goes only with the multiplication of 11 or no. other numbers also? No. 11 is just the start. I told you. 11 is just a start. We will learn beyond that today. Okay. So what is 44 into 11? Yes, everyone. <clears throat> I want to see the answers in the chat box, everyone. No one knows? 484. 484. Okay. 484. Very good. 484. So out of 11, four people, yes. 484. What about 52? 52. 572. 572. 572. Perfect. 63. 693. 693. Correct. 693. Okay. Now, just a small thing, you should add, you should write that like this, but it's 81. Sheikh Mahmooba, Sheikh Mahmooba, 891. 891. Now, you can also use like this, a balancing line. This is known as balancing line. It has no physical importance, but it is very useful to balance the numbers. How balance, I'll tell you. So what is 36 into 11? 396. 396. Okay, done. So 396. But what happens if it is 37 into 11? 407. Now see, see three. the example. 3. Yeah. 10, 7. Now remember the concept which you learned in your preschooling or in the school's first time. That was place value. What does that mean? That means every place value well, should have only one digit. Now this is a unit place. One digit, okay. This is tens place. It has two digits. Can we have two digits at ten place? No. So that is no. why this extra digit moves away and 407 is the answer. So that was the reason I told you this balancing line will help you to balance the digits. Clear? Is 37 clear to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. 67 into 11, 6, 13, 7. So that means 737. Seven. Correct? Done? Yes, sir. What is 81 into 11 then? 891. 891. Eight, nine, nine, one. One. And 83 into 11? 913. Nine, 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 nine. Why? Because 8 plus 3 was 11, so 1 is shifted. Perfect. What is 78 into 11? 851. Eight five eight. Eight five eight. Five, eight. <clears throat> any doubt? Yes, anyone has a doubt? Okay, what is then eighty nine into eleven? Nine seven nine. Nine seventy nine. Nine seventy nine. Yes, sir. Okay. So what is the highest two-digit number or the biggest two-digit number? Yes, Dave? 99. 99. What is 99 into 11? 99. What is 99 into 11? 1089. Yes, that is how you have to understand every number. 99 means 9, 18, 9, 1, 0, 8, 9. Any doubt? 
uh, from 11 to 99, all two digit numbers. Any doubt? I'll repeat the name. Yes, Rasul B. Sir, can you multiply with 12? Multiply 11 with 12 or 12 with uh, 11? Uh, 11 in replacement of 11, uh, 11th table, we have to multiply 12th Rasool table. Be, Rasool B, what was the topic? The two so let's be on topic first. Is this clear first? Yes, sir. Clear. See, clear. Yes, sir. Don't. Even 11 is not clear till now, I'll tell you. There are so many things more to go. But yes, 12 is possible. The sutra is called as Supandaya Mantya or sandwich method. Even 11, so in fact, the sutra was written not for 11, it was written for 12 only. The name Supandaya Mantya is for 12 only, but yes, 11 came out of that. It was just like a chance. So, but that I'll be, tell you. So anyone who has a doubt in from numbers 11 to 99, Okay, so let's start with three digit numbers. What is one, two, three into 11? Yes, one, two, three into 11. One, three, five, three. Yes, Magna. Rasul B. Sir, it's one, three, five, three. Now, here what happens, one, one plus two, it becomes three, and two plus three, five, and three as it is. Or you can write like this, one, one, two, then it is two, three, then it is three. Yes, is it clear to everyone? Rasul B. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It yes, is sir. clear. Clear. It is clear. Now, my question is, yes, why sir. do we have... Chalo, uh, I'll post on my question for five minutes. Second, 234 into 11. What is the answer? Sir, it's 2574. Two, Very good. Five, seven. So, going at a very good speed, what is 2, 5, 8? 2, 7, 2, 7, 7, 2, 8, 2, 8, 3, 8. 2, 8, 3, 8. What is 2, 8, 3, 8? Yes, everyone got this answer. So two plus yes, five will be seven, yes, but yes, we'll be getting getting one carry over further. So that would change. So always remember this thing. Three, five, nine. Yes. Three, five, nine. Three, nine, four, nine. 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 ये पूछेंगे गैस आ गई कि हाँ three nine four nine so three nine four nine everybody got this answer any doubt anyone yes, has no oh, sir perfect now let's go for some bigger numbers seven eight four Seven five eight six two four eight six two four six two four. Don't worry. See, it is the first day and it's only fifteen minutes, so you can make in steps. 
7, 15, 12, 4. 8, 6, 2, 4. Still, you will be faster than the calculator. It is much, much less than pressing on the calculator. The time you take on pressing the digits in the calculator before that you are able to do. That's good. 8, 3, 7 into 11. <clears throat> Nine, one, nine, 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 two, zero, seven. Eight, eleven, ten, seven. So this goes here, nine, two, zero, seven. Got it? Yeah, nine, two, zero, seven. Got it. Everybody got this answer? Yes, See, sir. Some of you are not participating, Devki. Maths, again, I'll repeat, maths will not be, you'll not get by just watching the video. No, you need to calculate. Yes. Yes, Jyoti, got it, Suman? Okay. Yes, sir, I got it. Dave, any doubt now? No, sir. Good. So what is the largest three-digit number? Nine, nine. Triple nine. nine. So what is triple nine into 11 then? Triple nine. So what is triple nine into eleven? One zero nine eight nine. One zero nine eight nine. Perfect. One zero nine eight nine. Nine eighteen. Now see, such three digit number also you are able to do it. Before the workshop, you thought it. You thought about it. You can do such easily. Okay. No. So let's move to the very good by one, two, three, four into 11. Yes, any guesses? One, three, five, five seven, seven, four. Four. Perfect. So this one, is what three, I five, seven. do. One, three, five, seven, four in. Oh, sorry. Got it? Yes, everybody. First, yes, sir. first sir. digit, then first two, the next two, the next two, and the last. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Two, three, four, five. Into 11. Two, five, seven, five. Two, five, seven, nine. Seven, nine, five. Two, five, seven, nine, five. See, when, when there is no carryover, at that time, you are able to do much, much faster mentally also. Correct? Yes, sir. And yes, when carryover comes, you today you are thinking, but now if you think this way, every time there is a carryover, the maximum carryover would be one. Now start thinking again. So you will be able to calculate that also. Four, six, six, four into 11. Five one three zero four. Five one three zero four. Five one three zero four. Very good. It's a good going. <clears throat> so now you think your speed has increased? Yes, sir. More increased. Okay. Okay, Praveen is not there. Now, seven, eight, nine, six, and to eleven. Please do. I'll, I'll just be back in a second. Eight six seven six. Eight six seven six. Eight six eight five six. 
Done? Yes, sir. Okay. So this is 7, 15, 17, 15, and 6. So this becomes 8, 6, 8, 5, 6. Got it? Anyone who has not understood this yes. till now? Any doubts? Okay. I got it. You got it. One last, then six, nine, eight, seven. Just reverse of it. Just see Sidi. how the difference comes. <laughs> Seven six eight five seven. Seven six eight five seven. Wow. Okay, so six fifteen seventeen fifteen seven. So seven six eight five seven. Correct. Yes, everybody got it. Yes, sir. Anyone yes, left? Sima. <laughs> Yes, sir. Any doubt? I'm working out. I'm just picking it up. Hey, okay. <laughs> no issues will wait. If any doubt is there, you can ask me now. Definitely, sir. Okay. So, let's conclude four digits also. So, last, the biggest four digit number? 109989. <clears throat> You got the answer also. One zero nine nine eight. Good. So yes. One nine, zero nine eighteen. Eight nine. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. Nine. So this goes here. This goes here. This goes here. So one zero nine nine eight. Nine. Any doubt till now? No, sir. Okay. Now this was the question I asked. this was what I said initially. What is one, two, three, four, five into eleven? And nobody was able to answer. Now can you answer this? Now what is one, the answer? So now see, you yes, are sir. on the path of Shukunta Devi. She solved for 14 digits. You can solve at least five digits easily. Got it? Yes, sir. See, now it all depends on your practice. Your understanding. Mm -hmm. Yes, we will have only one as a carryover. If we start believing this way, we'll be able to calculate. Any questions, any doubts you have? With the multiple of 11, it's clear, sir. Okay, we'll, we'll move further. So what did you observe? Yes, everyone. From this topic, what did you observe? Yes. Basha. Sorry. Dave. Yes, sir. What did you observe from this calculation? Position of numbers. Yes, Yoti. Any calculation is speed. Calculation. Calculating with speed. Okay. Meghna. The calculation is easy from uh, left to right. Okay. Yeah. 
same two to four. Yes, Seema. The steps are reduced. What I calculation is time from left to right. Okay, but that was a brilliant. I'm saying logical thinking. Okay. What else? Limitation of time. See, uh, why I am asking you so many questions? Because this is how you will be able to un understand the concepts behind it, and this is how you will be able to trans bring a transformation in the child. See, I'll tell you one thing: maths is a subject which everybody is fed up of. Everyone has a fear, be it a child of six years or be it a child of sixty years, uh, a man of sixty years. Everybody has this pressure. So. The more you answer, the more your concepts will get clear. Yes, Usha Rani, Dan. Okay. Yes, Meghna. Any? You want to say something? Okay. The first thing. See. Now, when we start teaching maths to or multiplication in the classroom, we say. Two into three is equal to six. Now, at that tender age, that initial stage, our child does not understand what is this cross. So you tell multiplication is repetitive addition. So what do you teach? Two plus two plus two. It is also six. Two times of three. Right. But. Did we do this also? Here, neither. Now, what was the topic? <clears throat> yes, Annie. What was multiplication. the topic? Multiplication. Multiplication. See, the topic was with multiplication with eleven. So, where did we multiply? My my question is very simple. Where did we multiply? Yes, Jyoti, Meghna, where did we multiply? So it's a repetition of addition. We are not doing okay. My first question was twelve into eleven. So did we add it twelve eleven times? Yes, sir. No. See, this is what you teach in the school. You teach multiplication is repeti re repetitive addition. That also we didn't follow. So what we did. both are what we taught earlier that has failed we just added cor corresponding digits see i why i am saying corresponding digits in case of 1 2 3 4 5 did i added 1 and 5 no i added 1 and 2 only and 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 and 4 and 5 only na so added adding corresponding digits this was the first thing we observed <coughs> yes or no anyone yes sir second thing somebody gave the answer and that that was brilliant because it for, for the first time somebody gave the answer for that and that was the second major confusion was left to right you calculated see in in entire life whatever is your age you have been doing from right to left only this is how you have been doing maths but here 1 2 3 4 5 you were doing 1 3 5 7 9 5 yes or no yes or yes, no sir. yes sir yes yes sir. so please do the reverse yes, try sir. reverse now yes. try reverse and see which is faster conclude yourself see if you can learn something within half an hour and then also it is it is now try to do the reverse way 5 4 3 2 1 so 5 9 7 can you do faster no sir yes anyone jyoti meghna any get completely confusion so no but that that you have been doing throughout your life 
See, throughout your life, you were doing calculations like this only, right to left. For the first time only, you use left to right. And see. No, sir, actually, we are, we are using step by step. No? When we are multiplying that from units place, we are doing step by step. But we are not following this uh, technique. See, my lead, uh, I'm not asking you that point. I'm asking you a very simple question. If you are calculating this mentally, one, two, three, four, five, if you just think in your brain, add up. So try to add from left to right and note your own speed. And then try to find from right to left and note your own speed. Which is faster, you tell me. Don't go for different questions, different answers. Just think on one particular thing and then your answer will be your own. Left to right is taking faster. It's easy. See, so one, let it be one particular calculation we did today. Let's not talk about all calculations right now. So from this calculation, we observe that our maximum carryover is one only. So it's made calculation very easy. Okay. Now, uh, see, that is one thing. The major thing what we I, I wanted to tell, teach you is, which is faster, left to right or right so to left? So left to right is faster. Right. So that means somewhere, somewhere if we change our way of approach, it will bring a difference. Okay. Yes, sir. Any doubts now? Because now we'll have a test. So before going for a test, any questions you have in your mind? <coughs> yes, anyone? <coughs> so no questions? So all ready for the test? Yes, Jyoti, any? Meghna? Yes. Shali. So the first question for the test is, What is 1, 4, 1 into 22? 1, 4, 1 into 22. What is this? What is the answer? Or please calculate. Three one zero two. Three one zero two. Okay. Yes, Suman. What is your answer? Three double zero two. Three one zero two. Three double zero. Okay. And how did you do, Suman? Sir, first I multiplied it by eleven and then I twice did. Okay. Yes, Usha. Yes, sir. I multiplied with 11 and I did twice. Meghna? Sir, I didn't multiply. I'm waiting for your answer. Why? Watching a movie? No, sir. No. <laughs> I'm looking for That's easy technique. If you have not tried, how will you understand the fact? Yes, Annie? Dave. Sir, I use traditional. You still use traditional. Okay, Suman and Usha followed something. Yes, Jyoti? Yes, Jyoti? Rasul B? So now it is not 11. We always already moved further. Yes, Pasha. So tw Pasha. 22 we can multiply as 2 into 11. So first I multiplied twice. Okay. I multiplied with 2 and then I multiplied with 11. Okay. Yes, Dave. Double of 1, 2, 1, 4, 1 is 2, 8, 4. Okay. 2, 8, 2. 2, 8, 2. 
into 11. That is 3102. Okay. Yes, Dave. Dave. I use the traditional method, sir. I can't use it. Now, see the difference. Why Suman, Usharani, and Mabu? That means only three are attentive. Rest all. I didn't say them to do this calculation. Okay, one more question, then I'll explain you both. Let's do the same question. 576 into 121. Sir, first one, can, can you explain again, sir? I can't understand. You're not answering. I'm asking you number of times you're not coming to the school. Uh, I'm not yes, explained sir. yet. Ma'am, I'm Ma not explained yet. I'm not explained. I'm I'm going to explain. Okay. Let me explain. Six thousand. Let me explain. Okay. Six nine six nine six. Wait, I'll explain first. Now one four one into twenty-two. See, I'm a teacher. Okay, please pay attention now. Now I taught you only eleven. So first of all, all those who did by 141 into 2 into 11 or 141 into 11 into 2, they should clap for themselves. They, they were participating. They were really attending the class. See, so this is how your way of thinking changed. Otherwise, if somebody asks you what is 141 into 22, you do this way. I'm not, we are not here to do like this because this is taking time. What Basha did 282 into 11, 3102. What Suman and other person did 1551 into 2 and 3102. Is it clear? This is what was expected. Now, again, if I ask you, so very first thing, they both, they all the three, they have done, they have done a very great thing. Now their way of thinking has changed. They visualize this number. Yes, it is 22. What is 22? Two into 11. Somebody said, okay, 11 into two. Both are correct at their part. And they took a logic. Yes, I'll multiply with, Two first and then 11. Some took a logic. 151 into 11 and then with two. Yes, Basha, am I right? This is how you took? Yes, Can sir. It's exactly the same. Yes, now, sir. problem, now, in, in this, though both the answers are correct. But if I say, which is more appropriate? So this is because more appropriate. Why? Because it's not every time you'll be getting 22. Let's say you have 99 here. What will you do that time? 141 into 9 is easy or 1551 into 9 is easy? 141 into 9 is easy. Got the point? So whenever there is a multiplier, first multiply with the multiplier because 11 is such a number with which you can multiply any big number. So this was the most appropriate, but so all the three, they visualize, yes. Reasoning, correct. Only on the logic part, for this yes. particular uh, question, I'll say both were correct. But if it came 99, then they have to decide the logic again. Got it? So this changed the thought. Now coming to the second question. 5, 7, 6, 1, 21. Yes, Rasulbi, is it clear? 6, 9, 6, 9. 6, 9, 6, 9, 6. Yes, sir. I, now, see, I am clear. now see. Thank you. 121. 11 into 11. 
So that means Easy. first 11, you get 6, 3, 3, 6. And then with 11, you get 6, 9, 6, 9, 6. Yes. Yes or no? Yes, sir. And what we, what we thought yes, when sir. we... <clears throat> what we said when we started with the workshop, because that was the way we have been taught till now. That was the approach which we have been taught till now. But now, our way of thinking has changed. Our approach has changed. We started believing, yes, visualization has changed. We are visualizing the numbers now. And after visualization of the numbers, we are starting applying reasoning and then logics. Now, is it clear? Yes, it was, so it was not 11 only. It was not 11 only. You can multiply with 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 121, 130. Further anything. Now is it clear? No confidence. What happened? See, that was what I told. Yes, Usha. Clear, sir. Sir, sir, sir. This is any your yes, voice is not clear, please be louder. So this sum which is there on the screen, 576 into 121. I'm not able to understand, please. Keep the mic in front of you or something is missing. Yes. Is anybody able to hear her? Can, because I'm not able to understand. Her uh, question was, uh, how can we divide 576 into 121 as 11 into 11? What is, 11, what is 121? See, what is 121, man? Megna, please. See, that's why I say keep your videos on. Otherwise, you are doing household jobs also and formality, you are attending the workshop. Nothing will go inside you. Yes, so any, this was 11, what is 121? Try to think, table, because what I taught you just now. 11. See, I taught you only 11. Right, I taught you only regarding 11. Now, if a teacher has taught only one concept, how can the teacher give you test beyond that? So it was 11 into 11, that's all. So first time we multiplied 576 into 11, it became 6336. Second time we multiplied it is 69696. That is only we have to visualize. And when we started the workshop, at that time we had only one thought, 121, that's all. So this is how our thoughts change. <clears throat> is it clear now? Yes, sir, it's clear. Good. Meghna, you are not standing. Yes, doing household jobs also, calling somebody, doing no. something. No, sir, I'm not doing any work. I'm just how you call somebody. Okay. Still any still any now I have called it again. Is it required again? No, sir. No. Okay, I'll I'll give you one more simple question. Suppose sixty-seven into thirty-three. This is the question. So what you will do first? Sixty-seven into three into eleven. So what is sixty-seven into three? Yes, first. One nine one. Two 
or you can write this way one one plus two two plus three and then three but here there are three ones so it is one one plus two after that we, we can have more now the last limit has been reached we don't have further numbers so what it will be done two plus three and last three so difference is one three five three was the answer here it is one three six five three is the answer now is it clear yes any rasul b yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is clear. So this is the difference. So that is why I call say ki it's eleven is not a trick. You need to understand the concept. Yes, this one twenty three into triple one is clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who is left? Sir, I didn't understand it. There were you. Okay. Why did we make pairs in uh, two digits? When it yes, was sir. Pairs? Why? Why? When we have eleven, we the greatest pairs are two. See, don't again, please. Uh, even uh, okay, if, if we have twenty-two, then also we do, na? So it was two digits. Make two digits. Make now, yes, please understand. So that is why we were doing one, and then combination one and two. Then next two combination two. two three. Because two, after three. Okay, this sir. combination, there was not possibility to combine three. But here, first one, then one and two. Mm -hmm. Then three can also be combined because now I have three ones. Three digits. Okay, sir. Got it. And then yes, sir. now what to do after this? When we have reached the maximum limit, so we always start moving towards the right, and that is what we do. So that was okay, the reason. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I got it. Yes. Anyone else? And this. That is what. This you have to remember for every. Even when we go for four digits, five digits. Okay, do one, three, four, five into triple one. Please solve. Is it three eight two nine five? Two nine five. Two eight two nine five. Twelve nine five. So three eight two nine five. So all of those who got this answer, you are correct. and if you are not getting the answer please be more attentive or ask me if you have any doubt left now megna is it clear yes sir it is clear now any yes sir rasul bhi suman jyoti Usharani, Usharani, answer. Well, Got it. Good. So Suman and Jyoti. Yes, sir. I'm hearing you, sir. I am asking you for answering. Na answer all the time. Quiet. Did you understand or not? 
नॉट मच सर क्योंकि मुझे थोड़ा सा टाइम लग रहा है वो एड करने में मल्टीप्लाई करने में मैं थोड़ा सा टाइम ले रही हूँ ज्यादा क्योंकि आप कर पा रहे हैं मुझे थोड़ा टाइम लग रहा है ज्योति एक मिनट पहली चीज अपने दिमाग से हटा दो आपको टाइम लगेगा सी आप अपने yes. मन से जब ये निकाल दोगे पहली चीज हमने मल्टीप्लिकेशन की नहीं अभी तक और सिंगल डिजिट एडिशन तो हमें करना ही पड़ेगा yes. मैं आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछूंगा अभी क्या हम मैथ के बिना क्या मैथ के बिना सरवाइव कर सकते हैं हम बिल्कुल नहीं सर क्या हम अच्छा आप कौन से डिपार्टमेंट से हैं कौन सी क्लास लेते हैं मैं मैं सर ग्रेड वन टू फाइव लेती हूँ लेकिन मैं हिंदी पढ़ाती हूँ हिंदी पढ़ाते हैं कोई बात नहीं yes. मुझे छोटी सी बात बताए ऐसी क्या चीज है जो आप सिखाएंगे बच्चे को जो उसकी जिंदगी भर काम आए पर सिखाना एक मिनट में ऐसे एक मिनट दो मिनट मतलब मैक्सिमम पर जिंदगी भर काम आए टॉपिक से रिलेटेड बेसिक ट्रिक्स कोई टॉपिक नहीं मैं मैं it is you who has to decide i'll ask everyone hmm. what is that hmm. you would like to teach somebody not your class i'm not talking about your class only to anyone in life which will matlab hamesha insaan apne aap se sochta hai ki ye main sikhaun to ye zindagi bhar discipline okay then is uh, sunna okay yes and uh, खुश रहना गुड ये सारी चीजें तो ठीक है सरवाइव करने के लिए क्या आना चाहिए मैथमेटिक्स <laughs> हर सिचुएशन के लिए तैयार रहना प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग ओके नाउ आई टेल यू वन थिंग दिस वाज अ क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज आस्ड इन कोरा डू यू नो व्हाट इज कोरा यस सर Kora is a place where you find answers to all your solution, uh, where you find solution to all your problems. See now, I if, use Kora a lot, sir. So then, have you checked that I am the most viewed writer in the world for this Kora? Sir, I have checked in the in your advertisements. Yes. Okay. Uh, let uh, now. Now, if you. <clears throat> so the question was what you would like to teach to someone which becomes a asset also and which can be taught in a minute now see every professional has a different answer if you talk to a doctor he would say i'll teach artificial breathing correct because yes that is a necessity of life agar koi insaan accident kisi ka ho gaya ya एमरजेंसी केस है तो वो आर्टिफिशियल देख के बचाया जाता है कई बार सो दैट इज एज पर हिज प्रोफेशन इज हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट नाउ एन इंजीनियर इफ यू टॉक टू एन इंजीनियर ही वुड से आई वुड फर्स्ट टीच टू ड्रॉ स्ट्रेट लाइन बिकॉज स्ट्रेट लाइन ही नहीं बनेगी तो ब्रिज कैसे टिकेगा और कैसे एक बिल्डिंग टिकेगी एंड दैट दैट इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट आंसर एज पर देयर यू नो एज पर देयर प्रोफेशन So now all of you have different professions. So I ask you. So now answer like that. See, because happiness, this is excellent. It is. It can be a part of life. But there is something which is really required, and which is very critical. Now the answer, what I gave. Interesting. See now. can you survive without money transaction in life can you now what happens generally aaj hamare bacche bhi agar if you talk to your kids you give 100 rupees note to a kid and ask him to buy bananas of 33 rupees he will not be able to calculate what return he'll be getting 
तो क्या फायदा ऐसी एजुकेशन का हम सो व्हाट एज पर मी व्हाट इज रिक्वायर्ड इज एवरी पर्सन शुड हैव दिस बेसिक नॉलेज ऑफ कैलकुलेशन लाइक शी वाज सेइंग आई एम स्लो सी आई जस्ट हैव टू गो ओनली एडिशन एंड एडिशन सो ये छोटी छोटी चीजें हम इग्नोर करते थे व्हाई वी इग्नोर because we we know we have a mobile in our hand which has got everything no we cannot i'll give you one so what i answered was every person whatever the profession is see you are a lawyer you are a doctor you are an engineer you are a sweeper you are even a maid still you need money calculations to survive you might be living in any part of the world हर जगह की करेंसी डिफरेंट हो सकती है बट कैलकुलेशन तो सेम रहेगी सो दिस इज सी वी कैन नॉट अवॉइड मैथमेटिक्स मैथमेटिक्स इज इन आर नेचर इन नेचर इट एग्जिस्ट एज पैटर्न स्टार फिश जेली फिश ये सब देखेंगे तो दैट इज अरिकल पैटर्न रेडिकल पैटर्न विच यू कॉल इट एज हनी बीज और ये सब देखेंगे तो दैट इज अटर्न सरफेस पैटर्न कहते हैं so maths already exist in our nature also we cannot avoid mathematics and we all should always focus ki we know the basics right okay now the same question how many phone numbers you remember now yes usha basha kitne phone numbers yaad hai how many four sir four sir रीजन बिहाइंड इट जस्ट थिंक टेन ईयर्स बैक वेन यू आर हैविंग अ डायल ऑफ फोन एट दैट टाइम हाउ मेनी नंबर यू रिमेंबर so so many huh? 20. 20. so your your brain should increase or decrease decrease using the brain we have programmed ourselves like we have got a mobile why should i remember anything so that is what you are doing i why, why calculation is required i have a mobile why to remember the phone numbers i have mobile can mobile be answer to everything you know what is the capacity of your brain it no is, sir it is yes. okay i'll give you at the last but i'll tell you so many gb drives if you put together it is yes. more than that and we don't use it right i'll i'll give you that uh, now let's come back to the topic first okay so <clears throat> one more if it is one two one so what is one two three four into uh, into triple one yes try come on bola ko har se kare ko kar वन थ्री इट्स फोर डिजिट नंबर आई हैव टू राइट वन थ्री सिक्स नाइन सेवन फोर One three six nine four. So one 
Then, see, first is... Seven, four. Okay, I, I, I'll, I'll give you steps for all those who didn't understand. One, two, three, six, nine, seven, four. Into triple one. So first nine, is seven. one. Second is one plus two. Third is one plus two plus three. Now I have reached the maximum limits. After this, what we do? We generally shift. So what happens? Two, one three, is four. So two plus three plus four. Then three plus four. Then four. So one, three, six, nine, seven, four. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And what was the answer when it was one, two, three, four into double one? It was just one, three, five, seven, nine, seven, four. See what has what is the man, uh, now change? He has changed to six. Nine has come in between. So, but the concept remains the same. Only we have to be careful. Keep there was two ones. Here it is three ones. Clear? A bigger number. Four, five, six, seven into triple one. Yes, last. Please do it. Five zero seven one three seven. Five zero seven one three seven. Then fifteen. Then eleven and seven. Eighteen. Then five zero six nine three seven. Thirteen. Then this this five zero six zero nine three nine three seven. Anyone have now? Please ask. Anyone. Any question you find? Yes, it was not clear. Any? The CLB? Yes, Basha. All clear. <coughs> Usha yes, Rani. clear. Devki, you were not there earlier also. Yes, sir. Clear. Okay. So, what is? Uh, okay, very simple question now. What is 12 into triple one? One, three, three, two. One. Please try to understand me are able to calculate if it is also a three-digit number. So what is the harm? Make it a three-digit number. Zero. It's a zero, one, two. So zero as it is, zero plus one, zero plus one plus two, one plus two and two. So one, three, two. three, two. Two, yes, sir. Got it. So don't get afraid, Q. It is not a three-digit number. How we will calculate? Nothing. Put zero. Is this clear now? Yes, sir. See, all yes, of us have got sharp brains, but just keep start using it. I'll just give you a shocking thing. See, if you have sixteen GB, uh, uh, sixteen GB pen drive, you know how much capacity? One five six. Triple zero pen drives, that much capacity, your brains. 
right so it is approximately 2.5 petabytes now what is 1 petabyte 1 petabyte is approximately 1000 terabytes so this much capacity we have only thing is petabyte ka ek question hai aur ye chapter mein train se alag hote hai उषा रानी यस प्लीज नथिंग सर ओके सो कमिंग टू द बैक टू नाउ ट्रिपल वन नो प्रॉब्लम सो व्हाट इज वन टू थ्री फोर इज टू फोर टाइम वन so now what happens now we have the possibility of four making a pair of four numbers four digits so first would be one second would be 1 plus 2 third would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 fourth would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 then 2 plus 3 plus 4 then 3 plus 4 and last four is it done 137 yeah. so what is the answer please find it tell me the answer 137074 oh 23 It's one three seven zero nine seven four. One three seven three six. Then zero nine seven. So if it is how zero. So this was six one k. Seven. So this is ten. So zero. Zero. This is nine seven four. Four. Done. Yes, sir. Anything? okay so now you understand even if it is 11 triple 1 four time 1 five time 1 the concept will remain the same similarly even if it is 22 12, 33 44 55 up to 99 or 121 or simply triple 2 Triple four, or four time two, four time four. So every time the calculation will be same. Got it? See, you'll be getting notes. Yes, sir. You'll be getting notes also. You'll be getting homework also. So when you will be doing the homework, then all these topics would be clear, and from the notes, everything would be available. Right? Okay. So any doubt you have, you can let me know. Otherwise, we'll move further. to the next topic so now you believe that it helps to make our speed faster vedic maths yes sir yes, yes sir great now the second so this was what we learned left hand side so first 11 37 into 11 left hand side digit add the digit and right hand digit so we did it testing we did it so important observation we were adding actually adding corresponding digits and not multiplying and we were calculating from left to right rather right to left 
Now the second advantage, see, now we were discussing why Vedic mathematics and the first thing we discussed, yes, it increases speed. Now the second factor, second major factor is it reduces burden. Now what is the burden? Yes, anyone from maths? What is the burden? Or parents are there. So what, what is that makes children feel stress in mathematics? The learning tables. The tables. Is it necessary to learn the tables? Is it necessary yes, to sir. learn the tables? Just before. Yes, just sir. Because it, it, it. Do we need to remember the tables of digits more than nine? No, sir. But still, we ask them. Still, we cram them. Yes, sir. Now, yes, I sir. See, what happens? Very basic. Every teacher, every parent uh, teach one thing. Always understand the concept first, then learn it, and then remember. This is a general philosophy. Every teacher, every subject teacher, or even the parent will teach. But what happens <laughs> with the mathematics? They say, cram the tables. So total two opposite things. Because tables cannot be remembered. Tables cannot be learned. You cannot ask. If, if now today I ask you, how much time you need to write a table of 89? Yes. How, what would be the time? Shake. Mahbub? Uh, it's a multiple of nine is one minute. Yes, Meghna? Yes, sir. Pardon? How much time you need to write a table of 89? Uh, 29 is simple. Suman? Sir, approx 5 to 10 minutes. That means you have not opened the books also. You have purchased the books and it is in the first book itself. Suman? Yes, sir. So books are for? No, Jyoti. sir. That is another technique, sir, of multiplication. Suman, <clears throat> Devki, how much time you need to write a table of 89? See, when we cannot remember, when we cannot write, why do we expect our students to cram everything? We have often seen children standing in the classroom and cramming the tables. Is it so easy? And why it is required? See, I talk to 20 to 30 teachers every day. And they also remember the days when they used to cram tables standing in the classroom. So that was the most fearful factor. Right? So this, this tables is always had been the fearful factor for everyone. So no answers? Yes, any? 89 table. 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes? We take a 5 minutes. Okay. Sorry? So 5 minutes. Okay. Now I would say every one of you would be able to do this within 10 seconds. Is it possible? Wow. Let's try once. So 10 seconds, not more than 10 seconds, you can write down any table which is ending with 9. And for any other table also, any big table, 2 digit, 3 digit, 4 digit, it hardly takes 1 minute. So let's Again, start with the calculation part. Open your papers again. And now. So we'll start doing these tables. There are two concepts. Now the first 
will do numbers ending with 9 so what are the numbers ending with 9 that is 9 19 29 39 89 11y or even 1000 something anything and second concept we will we'll do in general table of any number so any number means any 2 3 4 digit number got it yes are you there or not yes sir so please speak up so first we'll do with nine number ending with nine okay what is this so if it would have been a class of kids you know I, once i took a class of 85 kids and they were shouting everything doing but they were questioning also what is this tick tack yes okay yes sir. any other nobody knows chalo we don't have to do anything with this x x right we don't have to play the game right now we just have to see we have to use this table and write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so you start with right most corner go into the mid and to the upper one <coughs> done up till here it is done everyone has written no yes, sir. sir write down fast <laughs> Yes, sir. Done. Okay. Suman, Dev, ki have you done? Dev, are you getting? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's take for an example a table of nineteen first. Now here you have to remember one thing. Complete this yes. first. Nineteen. Yeah. Now, whatever number. exists before 9 so here we have 1 in case we have to write a table of 89 then we have 8 in front of 9 or whatever table we are going to write we just have to observe the number at the place before 9 and what we have to do we just have to apply the first sutra the first sutra of vedic mathematics is known as ekadikena sutra that means add 1 to the previous number so we just add 1 to 1 and it becomes 2 so if it was table of 89 we would have added 8 plus 1 it would have become 9 if it is a table of 109 we would have done added 1 and it was 119 Oh, sorry, one one. I don't need nine. Up till here, any any point you want to ask me? <clears throat> Now, this new number is just to be added to this one and correspondingly. What is one plus two? Three. Three plus two. Five. 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 <laughs> Seven. See, I have done the reverse <clears throat> this way. Seven plus two, nine. Nine plus two, eleven. Eleven plus two, thirteen. Thirteen plus two, fifteen. Seventeen. And if I write nineteen, I am correct because nineteen was the start. What is this? This is the table of nineteen. 
Okay, sir. I'll give one more example first. Sir, once again. Ha, I'll give. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let us write a table of 39 now. So in 39, now 3 plus 1 becomes 4. So that means I have to add 4 every time. What is this 3 plus 4? Yes, there. 3 plus 4. 5. Seven. 3 plus 4, 5. Yes, 7, seven, 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 sir. 7 plus 4. 7. 11. 7. 11. 7 plus 4, 15. 15 plus 4, 19, 19, 19 plus 4, 23, 27, 31, 35, 39. What is this? Table of 39. <coughs> Got it? Okay, sir. Yes, Dave, is it clear to you? Yes, Dave, yes, please. Jyoti, yes, sir. Yes, sir. is it clear to everybody or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's clear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's clear. If it is clear, please write down the table of 29. Okay, sir. See how easy you can write down. And that won't take more time also. Done? Yes, sir. Forty nine, ninety eight, one forty seven, one ninety six, one nine five, two nine four, four five, three three nine two, four four one, four nine zero. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you have written for forty nine. No, sir. Twenty nine. Twenty nine, sir. Somebody, Dave was telling about forty nine. We thought it's a 49. 59, 58, 87, 144, 149. Is it, is it tough? Is it really tough? So easy, sir. Okay, I ask you 89. Now see how much time 89 takes. 8 plus 9, 17. 17 plus 9, 26, 26 plus 9, 35, 35 plus 9, 44, 44 plus 9, 53, 53 plus 9, 62, 62 plus 9, 71, 71, 80. How many seconds? Early 7 to 8 seconds it takes. And we are forcing our students to remember cram tables. Why don't we adapt simple systems? Why don't we teach them with the methods which they can easily understand? Why to make the maths so tougher? Maths is not tough. Maths is just playing with nine number, uh, ten numbers, zero to nine. <clears throat> Why don't we make it such simpler that every child can understand? Yes. Is it easy yes. now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, very easy question I'll give. 99. Now, before the if before this class, I would have asked you write the table of 99 so everybody would have seen me like this. Now, just adding 10 every time. Is it tough? No? Understand yes, the logic? sir. Easy. Yes, no, sir. Right. So, once to it, <clears throat> Meghna, this is in the book first. Okay, sir. So that 
See, you should open the books. See, books are self-explanatory. You should have opened. So any doubt now? No, sir. Now, this is not only about two digits. See, if it is three digits, I'll give you one simple example. One, one, nine. So that means I have to add 12. First thing I clear, complete this. So what is 11 plus 12? 23. What is 23 plus 12? Yes, 35. What is yes, 35 plus 12? 47. 59. 59. 59 plus 12. 71. 71 plus 12. 83. 83 plus 12. 95. 95 plus 12. 107. And further 119. <coughs> Got Sir? it? Yes. Yes. So, this is the trick that we have to write in the table. But when we ask directly question, we will ask you. Okay, sir. Yes, 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 sir. अगर बच्चे के टेंथ में मार्क्स कम आ गए तो क्या बोलेंगे चेंज द सब्जेक्ट करेक्ट यस सर वी ऑप्ट फॉर आर्ट्स और कॉमर्स एंड देन उसके बाद जो बहुत पैसे वाला होता है वो कहता है मेडिकल डू यू नो वन बेसिक रीज़ टेंथ का जिसने ट्वेल्थ टेंथ में के बाद चेंज कर लिया आर्ट्स में इलेवेंथ आर्ट्स पे किया ट्वेल्थ आर्ट्स पे किया बीए किया क्या वो बीए के बाद एमबीए में जा सकता है अच्छे कॉलेज में यस टेल मी नो बिकॉज़ ही ही कैन गो ओनली इन प्राइवेट कॉलेजेस बिकॉज़ फॉर गुड कॉलेजेस यू हैव टू गो फॉर एंट्रेंस टेस्ट दैट इज कैट एंड व्हाट इज कैट मैथमेटिक्स इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक मोस्ट यस गो जब आप पांच साल से डरे बैठे हैं मैथ्स से व्हेन यू आर यू हैव लेफ्ट मैथ्स जस्ट थिंकिंग आई कैन नॉट डू मैथ्स और आपको इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग यू मोटिवेशन इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग यू पॉजिटिविटी यू वी सिलेक्टेड अदर सब्जेक्ट नाउ डू यू बिलीव डू यू थिंक यू विल बी एबल टू क्रैक दिस एग्जाम आई एम � now there are two kinds of, let's talk about like some particular schools only. After 10th, let's say students elected for medical or non-medical. That means in medical, they were having physics, chemistry, bio. Non-medical, physics, chemistry, mathematics. You can ask a teacher what happens in 11th and 12th. The person who is not having mathematics, they cannot solve numerical problems in physics and chemistry also. Why? Because they have that phobia. I cannot do maths. And who created that phobia? Who stamped that phobia? We. Because we just gave them, we changed their subject just because they were not doing good in maths. See, if you have interest in bio, I don't say it's wrong. But if you change just because you were not able to understand mathematics that time, so that 
that there is no fault of a student there is a first of fault of a teacher who is not able to make them understand so as a teacher you have to rise from a teacher to guru you have to become a guru not remain as a teacher right there is a lot of difference in this so first topic is clear if a number is ending yes sir then how we can do the table now see the simplest one second any table okay now a simple question if you have to write the table of 37 now what time you need yes mehima 87 starting until take a 5 minutes or 10 minutes Who yes said? the same 5 to 10 minutes okay so if if you need 5 to 10 minutes never ask a third class or your students to write these tables See, but as yes, sir. you want time, why do you expect them to speak in front of you, Graham? Never ask them verbally. We don't deserve that. Yes. Anyone less than this? Five minutes. Anyone less than five minutes? Any? Dave, Suman, Dave Ki. रसूल भी ज्योति कम ऑन प्लीज हाउ मच टाइम सो टू हैव गिवन फाइव मिनट्स ओके चलो आई आस्क अ वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट हाउ मच टाइम फॉर टू राइट द टेबल ऑफ एटीन ऑनली यस मेघमा Eighteen. It's two minutes. Three minutes. Okay. The so more than the same five to ten minutes because I have to multiply every time. So how do we write tables? So we remember this. Eighteen one is eighteen. Eighteen two is thirty six. Oh, oh, it is difficult. Then we choose a different method. Eighteen plus eighteen is thirty six. So every time carry over. Yes, sir. Correct. Okay, how many of you don't know table of one? If you will not answer, I I will believe you don't know the table of one. So <laughs> <laughs> we know. One is simple. We still some people don't know. Yes, any? Really? <laughs> so you come on. Okay, so everybody knows table of one. Yes, sir. Everybody. Yes, knows sir. Table. How many of you don't know table of eight? Yes, I know, sir. I know, sir. Come on. So why, why, if you know table of one, Meghna, you know table of eight. Why not table of eighteen? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Got your point, sir. So why, why you got so late after so many years? Now see. Everyone who is not answering, so everybody can write this. Yes. Now, <clears throat> can we write table of eight also simply? It was it tough? So no, sir. This is your unit place. This is your tens place. How many digits you can have at unit place? One digit. So it is okay. Eighteen as it is. So can you have sixteen in your unit place? Just now we learned something. No, sir. So write six only. One pass it on. It becomes thirty six. Write four as it is. Pass it on. Fifty six. Right as it is, pass it on. Seventy-two. Is it really tough? 
No, sir. Now, how many minutes? Within a minute, sir. Oh, that means your speed increased 20, 30 times. No, basically, you got a concept. This is where we were failing. We used to teach 18 plus 18. Rather, it was just 2 plus 1. 3 plus 2, 4 plus 3, 5 plus 4. So, which is simpler? Adding 18 every time with carry over or 2 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 4 plus 3. Which is easier? Yes, Annie? Yes, Devki? Yes, technique is so simple. So that is what. And now this is being used in uh, Haryana also because I, uh, we have taught uh, to the teachers of Haryana sport. They are using this now. Now coming to your question only, 87. So what was there? 87 was nothing. 16, 14, 24, 21, 32, 28, 40. 35, so 87 as it is. Then this one goes here, 174. This goes here, 262, 261, sorry. 834, 43. Without any stress, you can write down the tables. And we were getting confused. Yes, any doubt now? Yes, any? <laughs> Anyone have any minute. doubt, any questions you have? This is, very simple. is this applicable for all the values, sir? You tell me any number. Let's check it. 46. 46. I, I thought you'll give me 5, 6, 7 uh, digit number. This is 46 is same. What is what is uh, four table? Okay, let's change the four, table. eight, twelve. Okay, then sixteen, 16 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. Okay, let's, let's ah, I'll, I'll six, twelve, eighteen, then twenty four, then thirty, twenty four, thirty, thirty six. So forty six, two, ninety two, eight, one thirty, four. 1, 8, 0, 23, 6, 27. See, you just have to remove the extra digit and pass it on further. Oh. That, that is all. <coughs> now, is it clear? Right, sir. Right. right. Anyone else? For yes. Come okay. Now, Yes, it is possible for three digit. Give me any three digit number. Sir, um, is me uh, right to left plus karna hai na? Left to right ni karna. So, jo plus hota hai, wo kis side jaata hai kabhi bhi? Baat ko samjho. Jo extra digit hai. Ha ha, unit ten. Okay, sir. Ha ha. Huh? Don't don't make that point ki left to right calculation. Calculation is not huh. going that way. Add who ke ke side jayega. Wo to hundred ki taraf hi jayega. Hundreds ki taraf jayega. Yes, any Thikhi three digit numbers? Anyone? So one twenty one. Simple. Chalo two thirty seven kar dete hai. So two four six. Eight, ten, three ka. Six, Six nine, nine, seven, twelve, twelve, seven, fourteen, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, twenty-eight, thirty-five. See, now this is fine. Because you have single digit at tens unit place, single at tens, single at hundred. Yeah, move this. So it becomes four first. Four and one, uh, six and one, seven. Four, seven, four. Then one. Now see, nine plus two becomes eleven. So you can not eleven. have seven here. Seven, one, one. Seven and seven. Eight, four, nine. 
why don't you follow the this table is regular method 6 7s are 42 7 eights are 56 now what is the difference just add balancing line <coughs> what is the difference a student knows you cannot have two digits at unit days but the difference is now the answer will never go wrong because when you have to cross verify this question you may make some mistake but here the answer is in front of you 6742 8756 correct yes sir you will never go wrong now see th three digit number 387 into 5 let us see so 35 40 so what is the answer Yes, this is fifteen. One nine three five. Three five. See, answer wouldn't change, but the concept has changed. This is known as place-wise multiplication, or which we are using the concept of tables. In tables, there was a gap in between. Here, there was a space. Now, I have just replaced that space with bar. Why this bar? Balance. This is called as balancing line. it will never make you wrong every time you will be correct because you will not intermix two numbers any questions now sir what if there is two digit instead of five just like 25 387 into 25 you are asking yes now, there, there 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 are two different there, see in vedic mathematics if i talk about multiplication it has got two general techniques one is called as nikhilam sutra technique or base method second is urdhva sutra so now you have taken the book so you I, i'll tell you this is in step 2 okay sir so step 2 is based on nikhilam sutra second is utva sutra the so step 3 deals with this it becomes now for that you need basics apart from this these are general techniques apart from this there are specific techniques so one specific thing we just learned one specific technique today that is 11 similarly we have for 999 999 we have for 101 1001 we have for numbers ending with uh, 10 or Hundred or thousand, we have the <clears throat> what we call is as ante your doshke. We have from eleven to nineteen. So there are all there are so special techniques, so specific techniques that your speed automatically increases. The only thing is you have to concentrate is B R L, visualization, reasonings, and logics, and that will improve. just pay attention to if you just do 5 uh, 15 to 30 minutes every day within 3 months the way you think that will automatically change and your mental speed will be perfect right okay so let's come back yes anyone has any questions on tables that so this was the major stress in every child now coming to the third 
this is how you, you again you'll be getting the notes so this is the magic box which you write like this and then you can do so you'll be getting these notes you can download and then this was how to write a table of 23 76 now we learned about two advantages first was it increases speed 10 to 15 times faster second it reduces the burden of tables the take the remembering tables only tables up till eight or maximum nine are required rest you just need to do immediately now <clears throat> so people generally ask what is the minimum eligibility to learn vedic mathematics so don't worry everybody has got that eligibility minimum eligibility is single digit addition and tables up till eight but yes you have to be particular or fast enough in single digit addition <coughs> for example if i ask you eight plus seven so it should be 15 not uh 50 right now the third advantage it reduces scratch work as well as finger counting now you saw we wrote a table of 99 we wrote a table of one to nine. We, wrote, we did big, big cal calculations. One, two, three, four, five into this. Did we use rough work anywhere? No. Why? Because the calculations were, the methodology was very simple. So in Vedic mathematics, and often you might have seen, when there is a math exam, we give rough sheets. But here, rough work is very limited very it is it it is reduced to a minimum extent so less scratch work or rough work right is it clear now talking about yes, finger sir. counting now we say finger counting what is finger counting as a parent do you like your child doing finger counting and why specifically i'm mentioning here finger counting because this is a habit which kids develop through their companions in school or if they are doing abacus yes everyone knows about abacus <clears throat> yes sir now so why we are discussing this because when you will become a vedic mathematics trainer the first question every parent will come and ask you is what is the difference between vedic mathematics and abacus Yes, how many of you know the difference? Any, Dave? Any difference you know? Yes, sir. Yes, Jyoti? Sir, Abacus, me complete finger counting. Okay. Hoti hai. Or... Then, X. Sir, wo, matlab, Vedic Maths for high level ki hai hum usme algebra arithmetic ye sab bhi kar sakte hain abacus mein mainly sirf addition multiplication division or subtraction hi hai usse aage nahi hai abacus okay yes anyone else mahboob basha rasul bhi suman jyoti okay so let me tell you more clearly See, I will not say Abacus is not good. No, it is a brilliant thing. But right, uh, Meghna said rightly, limited scope. Abacus is used to carry out the major operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, whereas Vedic mathematics has a wider scope. Now, with the help of only 16 sutras and 13 sub-sutras, we can solve problems entirely in geometry, trigonometry, algebra, conics, calculus, and even organic chemistry. So one thing is limited scope. <clears throat> Second thing, use of tool. Now, Abacus makes a use of tool. And the, what is that tool that is made up of beads and now the question arises, can you carry tool every time you go to a classroom or an exam hall? No. But 
in Vedic no, mathematics, everything is done in mind or mental calculation. And definitely you are always carrying out, carrying your mind with you, right? So it is more effective way to teach as well as learn. Now, just consider if I, this was a, a backers class and I was holding a tool in my hand, was it easy to understand? No, sir. Yes, others, any. Was it easy to understand? No, because see, you have to take consideration on that also. So this is more convenient, more efficient. And now after national education policy implementation, you don't have a choice. So Vedic math has already been accepted and as a part of national education policy. So we have to do it. Otherwise, also before this also, this was a major difference. Got it? Any questions you have? Okay. Why Vedic mathematics? So fourth advantage. It increases concentration. Now, how does concentration increase it? See, when you are able to, okay, when you were doing the calculations today, were you getting some positive vibes in your body? Were you feeling yes, sir, very positive? Much. Some, something like a joyous feeling. Yes, any? Yes, sir. Basha, Devki, Rasulvi. Yes, sir. After, after seeing those all the activities, we can we feel that, uh, yes, we can do these. See, if you can observe that positive vibes, that is known as positive vibes, that feeling, that joyous feeling, if you can feel within two hours or two and a half hours, why not students? Why not kids? See, what is our aim to educate them but in a proper manner so if they feel positive if they feel, feel energetic if they feel motivated then definitely they'll have more interest in that topic and this happens do any parent ever complain my child is not able to concentrate on games why? Because they are not under pressure in that. They are enjoying it. So why don't we make the education also enjoyable? Right? So with Vedic mathematics, people start feeling positive. They start feeling the energy, they, that positive vibes. And second reason, we just find visualization, reasoning, logic, left brain active, right brain active, when all the things happen in their places, definitely you find interest in the subject. And what is concentration? It is also a repetitive interest. If you have interest in something, then, they will, then only you'll be able to concentrate. A very simple example to is, if you like some movie, you watch it again. If you don't like it, you never do it. Why? So what is that? Repetition of interest. Same thing, if you, if you find the interest in the subject, you will try to repeat it again and again, and that will ultimately lead to concentration. And again, not only in Vedic mathematics or maths, in every subject, once you find a way how to do it, then there is no looking back. Right? <clears throat> okay. Next. It helps to reduce silly mistakes. Now, what are silly mistakes? Yes, Meghna. What silly mistakes do kids make in mathematics? Devki, Usharani. While you're doing the multiplications and all, instead of adding, if you miss one number, if you do any small mistakes, it will get the wrong answers. Okay. So while you're counting, What before multiplication? See, multiplication comes at the third step. What before that? In addition. So, in yes. addition. For basic operations, we have a lot of mistakes. Especially addition, multi, um, subtraction, yes, carryovers. So yes. See, the, the 
silly mistakes are done to carry overs multiple carry overs yes and in in subtraction it is in the borrow borrow now i'll tell you when he, see now today you saw when we were multiplying 576 into 121 also the multiple carry overs were removed we were not having we were having very limited carry overs so here there are no multiple carry overs second thing we don't have a system of borrow in subtraction can you believe subtraction without borrow it works on the simple principle all from 9 and last from 10 and this was the answer to that question what you would like to teach to somebody in one minute and which should be a lifelong asset so money transaction is the answer but how that is all from 9 last from 10 anyone can understand this in <coughs> seconds and students will never make a mistake okay all of you know about pre schools how do they teach they teach in a interactive way they teach with poems rhymes but the moment we the child goes above everything gone shlokas or sutras are nothing but like the poem rhyme way all from nine last from 10 is a is a four sutra nikhilam sutra and with the help of that we do multiplication we do subtraction we do division so many things so one sutra is applicable at so many cases right tomorrow also we'll learn some very important today it was very <clears throat> uh, multiplication and tables tomorrow we'll undergo squaring cubing now to find a cube or a square we take so many minutes but here you will be again able to do in mentally so you should be ready with your questions see if you have questions i have the solution now all those who are waiting to leave what are do you find any disadvantages do you think any disadvantages are there of vedic mathematics yes megna any jyoti dev usha rani Sheikh Mahbub, any disadvantage you will find? See, I I gave you certain advantages, but your mind must be saying something. You must have observed something. No, it is not that easy. Yes, any disadvantages? Okay, it has to. the first thing would be you will not require calculators anymore so the calculators kept at your home you'll have to throw it out you will not need any more this is the first thing so very big disadvantage second your friends your relatives would be jealous of you your speed today ask a simple question to everyone any teacher you talk to just ask this simple question can you write a table of 89 and you will see the response you will observe nobody would be going giving you the simple answer either they'll say why it is required i agree it is not required so why do we ask students why do we talk see this pressure builds up in the students right from that age when the table start right now <clears> or <throat> ask them what is 1 2 3 4 5 into 11 so that is that shows how much speedily you can calculate right so people feel feel right so these are two disadvantages which you can have okay now how many of you believe now i started my workshop with the thing welcome to the magic world of vedic mathematics so do you think vedic maths is magical yes any yes sir it's magical sir why why magical megna sir dard dard dur ho gaya dur ho gaya bahut jaldi ji time solving sums is fun yes anyone else 
Yes. That is not. Sorry, uh, Usha. Children who have fear of mathematics by this uh, methodology, like uh, they will show interest in learning maths. Yes, definitely. Time time is changing, and they are showing. Yeah. If you see my website, I, I'm taking classes in different schools, and kids love this because this is like they get it's like a method of game. It's a, a like, yes. like a game. Yes. Yes, sir. It's like a game. Uh, see, I, I when I showed you, uh, when I draw that uh, box in front of you, that I didn't show like that. But when I take a kid's class, then there is a picture of that game. So now what happens? And that topic start, is first topic in the, their case. Now what happens? Students don't speak. Because what parents push them for the workshop, nobody comes on their own. This is correct. Does any student comes online? on their own? No. Right from class 3 to class 9, nobody wants to come. Now, so they are mum. They don't speak anything before. The moment they see, see this game, they speak out. Yes, this is this. So that was what I was telling you. You just see that video on my channel. 85 students shouting, strolling. And, but what happened? The next uh, day, the second day when ma'am asked them, what did you learn? What we, will you learn today? No, we will not learn. We'll play game again. So what happens? Now the interest has started. So what they want? Education would, should be in a manner which they love, which they enjoy, like they used to do in preschools. This is very important. So we need to understand that. Right. Okay. Now, coming to, now, a serious talk, a serious question is there, because all of you, I suppose you plan or you intend to become a trainer tomorrow. Does your certificates, your marks only give you a job today? Even if you are a gold medalist, does that only is a criteria in an interview? No, sir. What is more important? Speaking skills, confidence. Presentation skills. Yeah, presentation skills. Because until and unless you are able to deliver a class or present a class properly, and you know what has happened? A big irony, I'll, I'll discuss, maybe all of you are aware about it, but never gave a thought of it. Earlier, a teacher was more, was considered as the ultimate decision, decisive person, like in a PTM, if a teacher used to say to the parents, dear parents, your child is not doing well in XYZ subject. So students were getting scolding or everything at the same moment. Yes, so parents had so much belief in the teachers, correct? Yes or no? Yes, yes, sir. yes what, sir. What, has, what has changed after Corona? What has changed? Now, education is not confronted to that four walls. Everything now, if you have reached global, people have also reached global. Comparative study is there. Now, if a teacher is saying your child is not good, doing good in this subject, parent is coming back and saying, I have seen your classes online and have seen the other teacher, how she teaches. She is better than you. This is the reviews of so many principles I have talked to. So now, even parents are comparing because they got the chance to compare. I'll, I'll come to that. Similarly, in a job, any job, it's not more important you are there 24 hours a day or you're doing something very important. But what happens if you, at the time of meeting, you are not able to Present your task in front of others, there is no use. So presentation skills. So what is 
what no no what what important has become is in actual we all have become sales person if i am now earlier it was a doctor a lawyer a teacher now not even doctor not even lawyer everybody is a sales person why because we all are delivering when online we are being compared also so we have to come up with more positive energy also more positive initiatives also and with much more confidence also now early morning if you receive a call from hdfc bank for ex president bank so after some time you will receive from other banks also everybody is selling their own products we as a teacher are also doing the same if i am teaching you today what i am also selling a education i'm selling my program you talk to you go to a broker he'll be selling a house you go to a mall there people would be uh, some sales executives would be standing they'll be selling the clothes or shoes or something x y z so what they, they have to do they have to tell the positivities of their product so what is the, what everything is going around there are two now things one is content and second is delivery so in case of products the the content is the product and delivery how you tell how good a product might be if you don't have are able to deliver it deliver that importance to the to the clients how will they know similarly as a teachers see content is the first key if you don't have content how will you deliver the knowledge how will you bring the transformation now in particularly if you talk about vedic mathematics i'll be giving you every content but you have to focus on the second thing also that is delivery got it so that yes, is sir. very important it is not offline education where you will teach in four walls and nobody will cross question you here when you will take classes you have to report back to them you have to because they are comparing it with all the other professionals so this is what is required content and delivery so now coming to the last point your homework yes so homework i'll be sharing you very soon on your whatsapp numbers please save my number because i'll be sending through broadcast so you'll be receiving only if you have saved my number anyone who is not saved my number i'll just give it right now uh, once again uh, so that you save it 7015661074 this number i'll a uh, send mess uh, uh, will have a broadcast and will share through this now apart from this homework you should have a facebook page now i i can understand everybody has a facebook account but having facebook account is something different that is a profile i want you should have a facebook page so that tomorrow when we will learn how to launch your classes then this would be required second uh if you can have a instagram also that would be superb and i'll teach you both the things how you will be launching your classes right any questions so that brings end to today's session yes any questions you have no sir megna anyone uh, sir excuse me sir yes any please So tomorrow also same time and it will end around five o'clock. See, officially it is two to four only. But if you have questions, mm. I I I cannot say no, na. So okay. it's always uh, my workshops goes always for two and a half. This was uh, I would say today's less time. Generally it goes for five to fifteen. So less okay. questions means less time. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. 
you should ask. So what, sir, 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 what if I miss uh, tomorrow's class? Then uh, it, uh, see, I'll be giving, sharing the video today also. Tomorrow mm -hmm. also I'll be sharing you video, but maths again, okay. maths cannot be learned with video. Then okay, you right. can attend next week's workshop again. Right, okay. that, that 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 would be once you have registered, you can attend. Then I'll I'll you just have to send me a that I want to attend. I'll share the link. Right. Okay, sir. Any because, more? Because uh, sir, after four o'clock, I have my class. So, no issue. Uh, up till four, also you'll be learning about uh, scaring cubics uh, and how to launch your classes. So this is uh, what we'll be covering. Okay. All right. Yes, anyone else? Sir, I'm a housewife. Uh, I don't know how to teach other students. I never teach online. I never Abne take tuitions. I just don't. Ha, sir. Bachu ko badaya hai. Meghna, 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 Meghna. Mother is the first teacher of every child. Correct? Just yes, believe sir. in that. Then believe yes, sir. yourself. Finish. Okay, sir. Dar Thank you, sir. If you keep this fear, then you won't do anything. Those two points, you believe in two points. Finish. Sir, I want to become a trainer. Uh, but as the time of today, you should also study online or just offline? If the corona comes again, then there will not be anything offline. Hmm. हाँ सर ये तो है नहीं आएगा और हम्म देखो ऑनलाइन के अपने ऑफलाइन में यू आर लिमिटेड टू योर स्ट्रीट और योर लोकेलिटी यस ठीक है अब जैसे मेरा हर ट्यूसडे थर्सडे एक शो आता है आस्क मी हाउ लास्ट टाइम उसमें नेपाल से थे मॉरिशस से थे साउथ नाइजीरिया से थे so I am already teaching hmm. several countries. So, hota kya hai ki you learn more and you enjoy more. I would rather okay. say that. Because as a teacher also, aapko bhi motivation chahiye na. Different people, different. Hmm. Kai bar bore ho jata hai saan. Ek ko badhate badhate, ek hi cheez ko system ko samjhate jane. Baaki har ek ki apni choice hai, dekho, apni limitations hai. I won't uh, comment more on that, but yes. Uh, both should be there. Okay, sir. Baki aapko, aapka jo additional advantage hai, wo abhi tak kisi ko nahi hai. Wo ye hai ki Rajasthan mein already Vedic maths chal raha hai. Now, other places, it is still being implemented. So that, that would take around three months to six months also. But aapke maa already log kar rahe hai, unko subject mein pass hona hai. But sir, uh, I had a doubt that I was learning Vedic Maths like I was learning and I learned some tricks from my son. So he did it in the way in school and his teacher said that you have to shortcut it, but you have to do the exam in the exam. That's the method that you have to do in the school. Try to understand one thing. You got the confidence, you got the sum correct. That is more important. Yes, sir. You have to say that ये तब तक है जब तक इंप्लीमेंट नहीं हो जाता। Once it is implemented, हाँ ये तो है। Will not be able to say, they will not be able to say, a math teacher will not be able to say, you know, you cannot do by Vedic math. You got my point? Until unless it is properly implemented. Sir, Rajasthan में implement है, but फिर भी अलग से आप स्कूल में तो कहीं Vedic math teacher appoint नहीं किए। आपका CBSC में होगा ना? जी सर तो फिर वो सीबीएसई में तो अपॉइंट है ही नहीं अभी तक राजस्थान बोर्ड में देर इज अ डिफरेंस आप फर्क नहीं समझ रहे राजस्थान में आप रह रहे हो बट राजस्थान बोर्ड में नहीं पढ़ रहा आपका वो सीबीएसई बोर्ड हाँ सर दिस इज अ डिफरेंस तो आरबीएसई के लिए अलग से टीचर्स अपॉइंट किए जाएंगे क्या सर नहीं तो फिर हमारे ट्रेनर बने का फायदा क्या हमें स्कूल्स में कभी ऐसे मिलेगा अपॉइंटमेंट या नहीं मत करो 
आज तक एजुकेशन क्यों की हमने बच्चे आप बच्चे को पढ़ा क्यों रहे हो क्या आप उसको फायदा मिलेगा इज इट लॉजिकल एजुकेशन कभी वेस्ट नहीं जाती मैम नहीं वेस्ट तो नहीं जाएगी सर ये तो श्योर हूं मैं तो आपको ए, ए, वेदिक मैथ्स पढ़ने में कितना टाइम लगेगा या कितना बहुत फैक्टर्स आ जाते हैं फाइनेंशियल भी अगर बात करें और अगर टाइम की भी बात करें इफ यू हैव दिस इन माइंड कि मुझे बेनिफिट होगा तो आपने कौन सी ग्रेजुएशन की हुई है सर एमए किया है इंग्लिश में करके क्या मिल गया कुछ भी नहीं सर इसे छोड़ छोड़ देते हैं 12वीं के बाद किए क्यों Yeah thank you sir okay bye bye thank you sir yeah bye bye, bye.